Have you ever wondered what regenerative agriculture is and how it can help our planet? Imagine a farming system where every decision is guided by an understanding of nature's rhythms and needs, a system that seeks not just to sustain, but to enhance and restore. Welcome to the world of regenerative agriculture, a concept that takes us back to the roots, quite literally, of sustainable farming. Regenerative agriculture is not just a method of farming, it's a commitment, a pledge to the land that feeds us. It's about cultivating a relationship with the soil, the water, the plants, and the animals that call a farm their home. It's about understanding that the farm is not just a part of the ecosystem, but that it is the ecosystem. This agricultural approach is designed to rehabilitate and enhance every aspect of the farm's ecosystem. It's about making the soil healthier, the water cleaner, and the air purer. It's about creating an environment where plants and animals can thrive, and where farming becomes a means of healing the land rather than depleting it. Regenerative agriculture is more than just a farming practice. It's a philosophy, a worldview, an acknowledgement that we, as stewards of the land, have a responsibility to leave it better than we found it. This is the essence of regenerative agriculture. But it's not just about the feel-good factor. It's a practical, proven approach that can increase farm productivity, resilience, and profitability, while also helping to address some of our most pressing global challenges, such as climate change, biodiversity loss, and food security. In the following scenes, we will delve into the principles of regenerative agriculture, explore its benefits, and understand how it works. We will reveal the potential of this holistic approach to farming and how it may be key to creating a more sustainable and resilient food system. So, are you ready to dive deeper into the world of regenerative agriculture and learn how it can change the world? Now that we know what regenerative agriculture is, let's delve into its core principles. At the heart of regenerative agriculture are four key principles. First and foremost is improving soil health. This is achieved by minimizing soil disturbance and keeping the soil covered as much as possible to prevent erosion. Healthy soil is like a sponge. It can absorb and retain water, reducing the need for irrigation and making the land more resilient to drought. Plus, it acts as a carbon sink, absorbing and storing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The second principle is promoting biodiversity. This involves cultivating a variety of plants and crops, rather than just a single crop. A diverse ecosystem of plants and insects can help to control pests and diseases naturally, reducing the need for chemical pesticides and fertilizers. This not only benefits the health of the soil but also the health of the people who consume the food produced. The third principle is integrating livestock. Livestock play an important role in regenerative agriculture, as their manure provides essential nutrients for the soil, while their grazing helps to control plant growth and stimulate new growth. The key here is to manage the livestock in a way that mimics natural grazing patterns so they're not overgrazing or causing damage to the land. The fourth principle is fostering resilience to climate change. This is achieved by creating a diverse, healthy ecosystem that can withstand extreme weather conditions and changes in climate. By improving soil health, promoting biodiversity, and integrating livestock, farmers can create a resilient system that is better able to adapt to changes and recover from disturbances. As you can see, the principles of regenerative agriculture go far beyond just farming. It's about creating a sustainable ecosystem. Now that we understand the principles, you may be wondering, what are the benefits of regenerative agriculture? Regenerative agriculture is more than just a farming practice. It's a way to heal our planet. The benefits are wide-ranging, reaching far beyond the confines of the farm. Let's delve deeper to uncover these benefits. Firstly, Regenerative agriculture vastly improves soil health. By focusing on the soil's natural processes, it nurtures the microorganisms that are vital for nutrient cycling. This results in a fertile living soil that's brimming with life. Imagine soil as the Earth's skin. Just as our skin protects our body, healthy soil safeguards the Earth. Secondly, this method leads to increased crop yields. With healthier soil comes more productive plants. The soil teems with nutrients which are directly absorbed by the crops, resulting in stronger, healthier, more abundant harvests. It's like giving the crops a supercharged multivitamin. Thirdly, regenerative agriculture strengthens resilience to climate change. By increasing the soil's organic matter, it enhances the soil's capacity to hold water, reducing the impacts of droughts and floods. It's like giving the soil a protective shield against the harsh impacts of climate change. Lastly, it enhances biodiversity. 
By creating a vibrant living soil ecosystem, we encourage a diverse range of plant and animal species to thrive. This diversity is crucial for maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. It's like creating a lively party where everyone's invited and the more diverse the guest list, the better the party. These benefits are not just limited to farmers, they extend to all of us. Healthy soil leads to healthier food, a healthier environment, and ultimately, a healthier planet. And who doesn't want a healthier planet? These benefits demonstrate how regenerative agriculture can be a powerful tool for not just farmers, but for the entire planet. It sounds great, but how does regenerative agriculture actually work in practice? Well, it all starts with a fundamental shift in perspective. Traditional farming methods often view the land as a resource to be exploited, but regenerative agriculture sees it as a living entity that needs to be nurtured and cared for. One of the key practices of regenerative agriculture is cover cropping. This involves growing crops that are specifically designed to improve soil health rather than just producing food. These crops, often grasses or legumes, help to build organic matter in the soil, improve nutrient cycling, and protect the soil from erosion. Next, we have no-till farming. In traditional farming, the soil is often tilled or turned over to prepare it for planting. This disrupts the soil structure and can lead to erosion. With no-till farming, seeds are planted directly into the soil without disturbing it. This helps to maintain the soil structure and keep carbon in the ground where it belongs. Finally, there's holistic livestock management. This approach involves moving livestock around in a way that mimics the natural grazing patterns of wild herbivores. This helps to improve soil health, promote plant diversity, and even sequester carbon. But it's important to remember that these are just some examples. Regenerative agriculture is not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's about understanding the unique needs and characteristics of each piece of land and working with nature rather than against it. So, as you can see, regenerative agriculture is more than just a theory, it's a practical and viable solution for many of the challenges our planet faces. So, we've covered a lot about regenerative agriculture, but what are the key takeaways here? First off, we've delved into what regenerative agriculture is. It's not just a buzzword, but a holistic approach to farming that focuses on improving the health of the soil, promoting biodiversity, and stabilizing the climate. It's about working with nature, not against it, to cultivate our food. We then explored the principles that underpin regenerative the focus is on diversity, not just of crops, not just of crops, but of all life forms in the ecosystem. It's about enhancing soil health, respecting the natural cycles of the land, and integrating livestock in a beneficial way. These principles guide the practices of regenerative agriculture and set it apart from conventional farming methods. Next, we unpack the myriad benefits of regenerative agriculture. Besides boosting the health and fertility of the soil, it also helps to increase the resilience of farms, making them more equipped to weather the storms of climate change. It aids in the sequestration of carbon, making it a potent weapon in the fight against global warming. Plus, by promoting biodiversity, it helps to create more balanced and resilient ecosystems. Lastly, we took a closer look at how regenerative agriculture works in practice. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach but rather a set of adaptable practices tailored to the unique needs of each farm and landscape. From cover cropping to rotational grazing, these practices work in harmony with nature to regenerate the land. In essence, regenerative agriculture is about fostering healthier, more resilient ecosystems while producing nutritious food. It's a solution-oriented approach that holds great promise for the future of our planet. Remember, regenerative agriculture isn't just a farming technique, it's a commitment to a healthier planet. So, next time you hear about it, you'll know exactly what it means and why it matters.